Okay, so we are done with all of the the messy cleanup, which is good for you to see because real data has a lot of mess in it, and and you're discovering one of the ways to deal with that mess is to kind of call it from the from the group. All right, we are now going to create a scatter diagram using Excel and label everything and all that good stuff. Okay, so this is actually really simple to do. All you do is move your cursor up here. So see how it's the downward facing arrow again? Because you're kind of moving it to the column. So you left click, hold down, and kind of drag across. And there you got those two columns highlighted. You go to Insert, Scatter, right there. All right, now a couple things. One, I don't want blue. Blue's boring. Let me do purple. Green, uh, I don't like the way the green looks. I'm going to go with purple. Okay. Um, if I go to layout, I'm going to make it so there's no legend because there's no point to a legend like this. But um, it is important for me to have titles. So I'm going to add in a horizontal axis title. Type label here. I'm not going to tell you what to label it. You go ahead and figure it out for yourself. Don't type type label here. You will get in trouble, right? So access title. Matter of fact, I'm just going to leave it access title. Okay. And you can figure it out. Okay? So you should be labeling your axes, both of them. You should also be putting in appropriate chart title. I will let you figure what those are. Okay? All right. So you label your chart. You've got a scattered diagram. Life is good. So we're done with that. You will make up your titles and labels appropriately. Now, one thing you've got to do, though, is you've got to insert the linear regression equation. You know what? I'm going to change this order slightly. There we go. Since that's really how it's going to go. All right. Then you want to insert your linear regression equation and include the equation of the regression line. All right. So let me show you how to do that. So you see all these purple dots in here? And by the way, you can make this bigger. It's not like there's not going to be a lot on the spreadsheet anyway other than these couple graphs and a little bit more. Anyway, click on the dots, right click, and you see the add trend line. So you click on that, and it's going to say, what kind of line do you want? Now, we're working with a linear line here, so you're going to click linear. Down here at the bottom, it says display equation and display R squared. You want to do both. So click both of those boxes, and then say OK. And you can actually click on this box that has those values and kind of move it around to make it easier for you to figure it out. You can even highlight them and like bold or make it so that they're 11 point font or whatever, you know, just to kind of make it clearer for you to see. That's up to you. All good? All right, so we're done with that part. We've made a scatter diagram. You've got to figure a little bit out for yourself. Then we're going to use the equation of the regression line found above, and we're going to find the predicted life expectancy for every country using formulas and cells, references, and in a new column, and be sure to label that column. All right. This is actually easier than you think. I'm going to separate it because I don't want you to think that it's part of the original data set. So this is predicted life expectancy. Okay. Now, you see how your equation is right here. See that? The negative 0 0.279. That's y, right? So you go equals negative 0 0.2739. Now it'll be different for everybody, right? That's the whole point. But you'll have some number there. And then x, x for us, because it's the infant mortality is on this axis here, I'm going to click right there. Oopsie. Oh my gosh. Times. I forgot my times. There it is. That cell. So you got a little times asterisk, or you could do a parentheses. That would be another way to do it. Right? Although I think it'll yell at me even then because it, it wants parentheses. Or excuse me, it wants the little star. Plus 77.843. Now again, that's different for everybody. So be prepared to type in your own equation. Yeah, it wants the little star. All right, so make sure you put that little star in there. Right in between that parentheses. Right there. It wants that to mean times. And then all you got to do is click up here on that cell you just made, move your cursor to the bottom right, and it turns into that dark plus sign. Double click. Oops, not double click. Drag. There it is. Click and drag all the way down, and it fills out the values for the whole column, just like that. Cool, huh? So again, click, move to the bottom right corner, and drag it down. And every formula will be different, so everybody's going to have their own equations.